I'm on your side, baby! Last time we covered one of the highest mileage flicks in the game, the front flick. For me, that flick gets an S on the mileage tier list. It's just so good. But there's one flick that could rival its mileage. Another flick you can pick up right from gold, maybe even earlier, as this flick actually requires zero carrying ability. Well, one of the variations it does. It's the side flick. The side flick is so dynamic, it's one of my personal favorite flicks just because out of every flick I can think of, it has the most areas of use on the car. So if the ball's just anywhere off center from the direct middle point of the car's hitbox, you can side flip. If it's on the side, near the back, you can side flip. Near the front, you can side flip. In the mid, on the side, guess what? You can side flip. The side flip has a bunch of variants. There's a scoop side flip, which is an amazing power move at all ranks, but especially at diamond and under for easy goals and outplays and requires the least carrying ability of any flick I can think of. For players that can carry the ball, we can put it near the front and use a drag side flip for insane speed. Or we can control the ball at a slower pace on the car to do a pop side flick. And with this, we won't spend as much time on each hitbox as it will basically work the same with each hitbox. Just anywhere but the dead center. So take the blueprint and then practice it with your favorite hitbox and refine it. So... You can side flip almost anywhere on the car, but we're going to focus on the big three because it's easier to break them down and give them names and then we know what we're doing. We've got the scoop side flick, the power side flick, and the pop side flick. And let's start with the scoop side flick. And it is dead simple. It's similar to a hook shot actually where we want the ball moving with us and we can do this laterally down the wing really there's so many options for this any angle where we can get the appropriate movement we can do it however normally with a hook shot we might back off a bit with this we're going to stick with it and cushion pad the ball on the side of our car so that they are in unison from there, all we do, this is dead simple, we don't have to drift or anything like that, we just start to turn into the ball. Once we see the ball get a bit of lift, we can side flip. It's such a sneaky move, but really useful to cause damage on chasey opponents if you can, or just to get a lifting ball in the early ranks to cause some danger. The further forward we start to lift the ball on the car, the more distance we tend to get. And the further back, the more of a raise we get. Up until a certain point where it's not as effective. Now, wider car hitboxes, like the plank, can get lift and power really nicely on the front. Because as they turn over, they get more whip into the ball. Because of that extra length. Whereas boxy cars like the Merc don't tend to get as much power power or flight due to their shape but it's still effective depending on where you put the ball again you got to try with different ones so all we do literally we push the ball we start to go with the ball so that they're together and we start to turn into it and then as soon as we see a lift off the ground we side flip and it's that simple okay let's look at the power side flick this is similar to the scoop and can actually be done on the scoop if you hold onto the ball a little bit longer but usually when you start to push your ball actually it can be difficult to get a long carry on the ball as the defender may be with you which is why the quick scoop flick can be effective however in situations where you can carry the ball for more time you can put it on your car then holding onto the ball and building up momentum for a side flip at the end is really really powerful one of the often forgot about things with a side flip it is one of the few flicks that can be done at supersonic so even if you start to lose control of the ball and you're going fast you can still save it oftentimes with a side flip by using this prolonged dribble to build up momentum into that side flip you take all of that energy and put it into the ball this is great to take defenders off guard because all of a sudden it can raise the ball and as you get better at it you can choose specific areas of the net to target so all we do with this when we're carrying the ball is we slightly turn out to get the ball to start to drop on the inside of us and then that allows us to turn towards the direction the ball is falling and then gather that momentum and you'll get sort of like this biting point you're with a bit of practice you'll figure out where it is but it's just as it starts to come back up on the car then you side flip and it will push it forward 
the pop flick exactly as it sounds you're using the side flip now to pop the ball over the opponent this is great when you've got the ball on your car but it's just off the center line and relatively far back and when i say far back i mean sort of towards the center not crazy far back this is great if you've got a ball chaser or a player turning on the ball that hasn't given you enough time or space to be able to get the dribble where you want maybe for that front flick or for a 45 degree which we'll learn in a few weeks once you see the player turn you can use the side flip to pop the ball right up into the air but it's something you definitely need to practice because if you get it right you should be able to flick the ball up and catch it again so real good training for this is to go into free play put the ball on your car side flip flick catch and if you can get consistent you might be able to do it multiple times just side flip flick in and catching the ball now we can do this with the ball further forward but it won't pop it up but this can still be useful so if the ball's further forward on your car and slightly off to the side you can still do the side flip it won't lift it but it should push it to the side around your opponent, which is ultimately your job is to get round your opponent, get round your challenger. And as with the front flick, we also do have a delayed version of this flick where when we jump, we can wait a second before we do the side flick. This can again be useful to create a rhythm break on the defenders so they don't see it coming. They think, oh, he's just doing a fake. And then you do the side flick. Or you can use it in situations where the ball might be near the front of your car. You can jump, then boost under it to get it near the mid of your car before doing the side flip. So there we have it. Three simple weapons to land devastating flicks. And this is great because like everything, I'm all about options, baby. If we've got the ball on the front of our car and it's centered, we now have front flicks. If it's on the side, we now have side flicks. If we want to mix it up, we can use the scoop side flick so that we can start with a lateral dribble. And that gives us 50s and hook shots and so on and so forth, bounce dribbles. So give it a shot. You practice in free play first, then go into some casuals, ones or twos, and try and land these after working on them and see if you can score one. That would be really cool if you never have before. Give it a shot. As always, look after yourself. Have a nice life and peace out. Peace.